Hello guys and welcome to the Grand Finals of the BFME 1 Spring Tournament on the patch 2.22, this time on the beautiful map Forts of Eisen between me and Dark Knight, Gondor vs Isengard. And this is gonna be quite fun though, because until now, not in the quarterfinals and also not in the semifinals, Dark Knight wasn't defeated yet. He was able to win 3-0 in the best of 5 and 4-0 in the best of 7, so... But, on the other hand, I was also not defeated until now. I was also able to win my quarterfinals games and also semifinals games 3-0 and 4-0. So this is not only the grand finals, but also the clash between the two players in the tournament which are undefeated. And one of us will get defeated eventually. And yeah, let's see. I mean, as Gondor, I like to open with a barracks. The reason is, I want to play a bit more interactive early game. If you actually don't open with the barracks, you might get your stable on the field a bit faster, but your early game is kind of relying heavily on the two soldier battalions you have. And by opening with barracks, we have more interaction in the beginning, but also we can send the Hobbit forwards. And you will see how impressive this is going to be. So Alvin Wood is very important against Isengard, because Isengard has no way of covering this. And then we can fight on this. All day, all night. Come on, soldier, move it! This way! Hurry, soldier, swords! Ready yourself! Okay, once we are on the Alvin Wood, the war chant is gonna be completely negated. It's very, you know, like when you need to learn about one thing in Battle for Middle Earth 1, it has to be the leadership system, because everything is actually around leadership in this game. And now the Hobbit can join the battle, uh, battlefield. In the meantime, we have also the soldier battalion capturing the farms. And now we can demolish the barracks. Okay, and we will send this one to the, the top side and hopefully be able to reach the top side settlement from Isengard. Okay, I mean, we are doing not bad. I mean, again, our eco is not very good. Um, this is going to delay the stable, but look how long we are able to stall. And we will be bringing yet another soldier to this elvin wood and the hobbit is doing a phenomenal job he's level two now means more dps he's microing around uh, you know we need to be careful i don't want to over commit to the lumber mill because as you can see he has plenty of workers repairing this and if you try to over commit you might feel and it's like a high risk but little rewarding thing because we can always fight against him and we can keep him busy so, now you might say, but Shanks, is, is it really worth it to not be even able to hurt this economy? Yes, definitely, because what we are doing now is also we are buying time. As he's fighting against us, he cannot destroy our settlements, and also he cannot creep, which is, you know, a win-win situation. And look how much damage we are dealing to him. We, are, we have almost half a power point collected already, that's crazy, dude. And look at him, he wanted to send them forward, but now he has to come back because he saw the soldier battalion. And this is immense pressure, boys. And Peregrine Tukman, the full of a Tuk, is actually <laughs> showing his quality. Almost level 4. Look at him, boys. We can maybe hopefully uh, destroy this Lumber Mill too. Let's use the Shieldfall formation, build the steeple now. I mean, building the steeple with only one farm and blacksmith inside the, ba inside the castle... <laughs> It's not the greatest thing in the world, but I don't want to delete even more, you know what I'm saying? At level 2, please. Can we get level 2 with the soldier? Oh, nice, two boys. That's very good, very good, very good. So far, he was using every single Uruk he had for defensive purposes. Every single one of them. And also, our two farms outside are untouched. That's very good, actually. And I'm actually, I'm actually gonna heal them now. I think I'm gonna heal them. Normally, I wanna skip the heal and go for the, for the rangers, but I think level 2 unit with the... Look at this. Berserka will also get killed. Hobbit is hitting like a truck. Level 4 Peregrine took, boys. That's crazy, man. I like that. Level 5 Peregrine took now. Now we are talking. Dude, this Hobbit is invincible or what? But unfortunately, we are not able to finish off the Lamry meal at the top right. So it's fine, though, because now we have to go on the night and he has zero creeps secured for himself yet. That's big, by the way, guys. And we finally were able to destroy this. We have a level 2 soldier battalion and level 5 hobbit. I mean, what else do you actually want? Now, he needs to recruit multiple of these berserkers, and they cost 180 each, and we can still kill them on the Elven Wood. Elven Wood will grant us additionally 35% increased armor, and then you have also shield ball formation. 
Long story short, you can get your Gonda soldiers quite beefy and tanky. I mean, now he wanna commit though. <laughs> I don't think he, I don't know if he can still fight him. Because Berserkers are hitting like a track. Very good early game. Oh my goodness, what is my hobby doing? Very big in Tokyo, full of a talk. Come on, come on, come on. No, hey, but I cannot, I cannot blame you, Perry Green Took. You still did a good job. And we will also be able to finish off the second uh, Lammer Mill. That's very good. Creeping in the meantime is essential because Gondor, I mean, basically power points are very important in this game, as you guys know. But also, especially early game. Like, you want to get to the power spike, spike, uh, to summon the Elven. Not Elven, the Rangers. The Rangers, and then we can use them to actually kill the enemy pikemen. Because at some point of the game, the Isengard will be spamming lots of Uruk pikemen on us to counter our cavalry. Okay, look at them. I can read you like a book, bro. He sent those two berserkers actually to kill the soldier, but nah, 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 nah. That's not gonna happen, my friends. And look, the amount of pressure is very important because during all this time we are creeping for free, uncontested. Which is normally really tough against Isengard. Oh, I actually, oh nice. I was kind of thinking that he's creeping this god, though. Now with the Elven Wood, I will deny him the war chance and he will lose the strength in the armor. And the creep is gonna be filled. And now the barracks will be, I mean, I personally think barracks is essential against Isengard and very underrated. You should be definitely, when you play multiplayer as Gondor against Isengard, consider building your barracks, guys. Because the soldiers, they are not very expensive, because only 120 each, and they are hard countering the enemy pikemen, hard countering them. And with them, we can also secure the map control, and in the worst case scenario, force our opponent to actually, you know, recruit the war riders. Okay, I'm trying to keep those level 2 soldiers alive, but I think it's gonna be, you know, not very easy. Soldiers, you kill this, please. Uh, the host <laughs> is not the greatest. Like, I need to click 10,000 times sometimes. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna click the rest. Go back, go back on the net. Oh my goodness, dude, uh, this is driving me crazy. Like, this, you know, this is the one thing I wish I could change. You know what I'm saying? Like, the off host delay. Like, when you are not on your host, and especially when you micro with the cavalry units, and they don't want to listen to you, <laughs> uh, you might lose them, and losing units in battle for middle of one is very punishing. Look at this guy, he wanted to actually catch my Gondonite, but no, sir, I won't allow that. We have two power points in the bank, we could have gone already for the Rangers if he wouldn't have picked the heal, but it's okay. Heal is very good still. And, I mean, we took what? One, two, three... Three creeps, right, so far. Which is pretty good. Okay, I mean, he cannot contest us because, look, we have full map control. I mean, he has like literally zero Lamb Mimils outside. And what we can do, I mean, that's also new, by the way, in the patch 2.2. What we can do now in this version is we can combine the Tower Guards with the Soldiers. It means even if he goes for the for the War Riders, uh, we can combine them. And this way, our unit is going to counter this unit. And the only way he can deal with them is actually with Uruk, Uruk Pikemen. Oh. I don't want to talk about it, guys. I don't want to talk about it. Nothing happened, boys. Nothing happened. Nothing. Shh. Don't tell me anything. We rule this day. We must withdraw. Rally together, knights. Swords. I'm angry now, boys. You know what time it is. It is time for a juicy peace rush. Now we are aiming to destroy his Uruk pit. Oh my, he has war riders now, okay. <laughs> I mean, if he can destroy the Uruk pit, that's gonna buy us actually so much time. That's gonna be epic, uh, please. Look, but where is the banner? You see this guy, banner is like coming from downtown or something. I'm gonna use heal here. And we got a micro with the ones with the one gonda knight. I don't want to lose him. It's a level two battalion. And who around? Oh, I don't know about this. Level three. The Uruk pit is so tanky when it's level two or level three. Oh my god. Uh, dude, I wanted. I tried to save the level two, but I lost the level. Please, please get away. I cannot lose three out of them at the same time. That would be the absolute nightmare situation. Knights of Minas Tirith, together, knights, come. Ride out. Please, got a micro, got a micro, got a micro. Together, knights, come. We'll claim this area. 
four. We'll claim this area. Together, knights, come. Four. Let's the go. Team. Let's go. Press on. Hit the enemy. Right out. Take cover, man. Four. Our friends await. Prepare We've improved for the smithy. Ride. Please. Ride for the Ride. glory of Gondor. Press on. Yes, let's go. The Micro King, boys. The Micro King. Okay. You know, when you when the opponent is using the Palantir, he will get additional movement speed. And if you go a straight line, he will always be able to catch up to you and then kill your knights. And again, you know, losing knights with upgrades is so expensive. And that's, that's bad. So by you can run like a sneak, you know, in zigzags. And this way you can get away. Like we just did, as you could see. Now we can combine the tower guards with the soldiers and easy peasy. Swords, men of Gondor, riders, together. Spears down. Ride. Smother them. Onward. Swords, together. Press on. Ready I think I need to get used to the battle stances a bit more because I think what I need to do now is actually battle. always keep my units in the whole crown stance, you know? The Gondor Knights. Because. If you don't pay attention for like a split second, they will ride down into the pikemen and this is deadly, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so we lost a lot of map control. Nice. We trample, I mean, you can trample them when they have not the por uh, porcupine formation. This way you can actually knock them down on the ground and you don't receive too much damage. That's why the opponent is actually forced to always switch to the right formation, which is the porcupine formation. Men of Gondor! White Tower! Overpower Men of Gondor! Okay, I mean the ranger summon was not <laughs> was not a big success if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, but it's okay. I mean we need to always keep an eye on the map control. That's extremely important. If almost heal back up, we can eventually. I'm gonna actually, you know what? I'm gonna risk it, boys. Let's try to deal some damage with the tower guard soldier combination. He has no upgrades yet, and upgrades are essential. And if you're now wondering, yeah, but Shanks, why are you not recruiting only Tower Guards? Because you can use the Porcupine Formation yourself. It's simple, because Tower Guards are actually losing a 1v1 fight against Uru Pikemen. So combining units is very good. Yes, you lose some benefits, obviously. You cannot use the Shield Formation from Soldiers, the, the Porcupine Formation from the Tower Guards, but uh, you don't need to micro every single time. I want to micro with the Gondor Knights. And look at this damage, dude. What the heck is this damage from these units? Holy guacamole. Okay, I mean, to be honest, I didn't think <laughs> that this is going to work out this way. Nice, dude. I'm happy. We just destroyed this Uruk pit, guys. That's massive. That's massive. I mean, normally I would like to go for Gandalf at this point of the game, but, uh, you know, who needs Gandalf if you can go for the infantry cavalry mix? I like this. And this is only possible in the patch 2.22 because there is more love to the infantry units. Like, in the entire meta, I mean, basically, if you don't know, the last EA patch for the Battle for Middle-earth 1 was the patch 1.03. And... It was like for over 10 years cavalry meta, so you could never see Rohan or Gondor in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Uh, you could never see, you know, Gondor or Rohan in a one-on-one -on -one situation actually recruiting swordsmen or archers in the mid to lead game. And we, just because they were not weak, but they were slow, extremely slow. And now they have a bit more speed, which makes them also a bit more reliable. And I like that, I really do. I mean, here's too many pikemen, dude. Like, I mean, not too many pikemen, but again, I'm not host player, you know what I'm saying? And that's so difficult to micro! Run! This is so tilting. I'm sorry, but, it, you know, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what to say. Like, microing with the Gundam Knights when you're not on host is so deadly. Like, it's so painful. And again, I don't want to lose them. When I would be host here, I would never stop him, stop rushing him. I could micro around the pikemen, always crashes economy all the time. But of course, it's not the easiest thing in the world, guys. Trust me on that one. Okay, soon I will go for the for the Gandalf. I mean, we are good to getting good amount of money. Again, this is only possible because of the map control, but also we are investing lots of money into the tower guard soldier combination. They cost 520 each, and then also the upgrades on them: 424 forge fleets, 424 heavy armors. It's a it's a cost unit, 
And the reason why he cannot deal with them is because he has no upgrades yet. And again, Isengard's eco is unmatched. Once you have to fuel the fires and then you can grow rich. But also, Isengard needs a lot of eco to begin with. And look at this. He has Pikeman in the, in the Porcupine formation. We can win this fight. We have a shield. And if you don't know, the shields are giving you additional armor versus cavalry. So the Night Shields, not only good against arrows, but also good against enemy cavalry. Just like the Horseman Shield from Rohan. I mean, in a one-on-one -on -one situation between Gondor and Rohan, Rohirrim and Gondor Knights, the Rohirrim are a bit stronger. Not by much, but a bit. I mean, it's a Rita Mark faction after all, and also Rohan has much more support for the, for the Rohirrim, right? So you have Eomar leadership, and also Theorin, Glorious Charge. So you can make your units even stronger. Okay, I mean, destroying this furnace is actually very good. Um, Bikau. Oh, nice. Who? Nice. So thank you very much for the crossbow, man. One more trample. Nice. Dude, at this point of the game, we can even skip the Gandalf to White Power Point and go for the Eagle Summon. And then we can use the Eagles to kill stuff and get the Power Points for Gandalf after that. Okay, I don't want to lose level 6 though. Please be careful! No! I'm still sick, by the way, for my defense. <laughs> I'm still sick. <laughs> I mean... Do it. I'm happy that I'm going for the infantry because if I would only go for the cavalry, I would have gotten crushed. I would have gotten destroyed. Okay, Gandalf the Grey, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So we have almost six power points in the bank. Um, we will definitely go for the Eagles. And then, once again, you know, power points, especially the summons from the good factions like Gondor and Rohan, are essential because you can use them. If you use them nicely, they can generate you lots of power points as well. A wizard arrives precisely when he means to. Six power points in the bank. Eagles summon unlocked. Um, now we need to look for opportunity. Keep combining stuff. At some point of the game, we also need to go for the outpost control, you know? Oh. Gandalf the Grey against the war Riders! Oh! What? <laughs> what just happened? I lagged out, I think. What happened, guys? I didn't see. battle. <laughs> Okay, I mean, look the map though. The map is looking great, am I right? It's red. Everything is red. I see only one single set settlement at the bottom side, which is not our color. Now we are in a tricky situation though, because we I want to rush his base with my Gandalf, but I know there is Lourdes. And uh, when there is Lourdes, I cannot go close to Lourdes because I will get crippled down. And. Summoning eagles there doesn't seem to be right as well because every single tower is gonna shoot those eagles down and the eagles gonna die in like two seconds and we will feed a lot of power points. But I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Let's go. Look how the eagles going down. We kill Lords though. Okay, now we have almost the power points for the Gandalf to bite. Can I get it, please? Yes, we got the power points, boys. Let's pick it up. Gandalf turns into the Gandalf the White. And you know what time it is, right? You know what time? Oh my goodness, I'm losing every single Gondonite. I'm losing my mind right now. Take this, my son, on your face. Oh my good, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing every single Gondonite in the entire universe. I gotta heal my Gandalf, please. Oh, I lost everything, dude. And in the meantime, but what is even worse is I lost the map control. He's aiming my Gandalf. Look how many arrows are shooting him down. We gotta use the shield bubble and get out from here. Shield bubble and get out from here. Run for your life, dude. Oh my goodness, I'm about to lose my mind. I don't know what happened. I, I had this way better in my mind, guys. Not gonna lie to you. In, in my mind, I was like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, kill the Lord. Then I have Gandalf and horses. I can crush this entire beast. But in like few seconds, I lost every single one of my Gondor Knights. Every single one of them. 
Okay, it's time for the lightnings. Oh, it's on cooldown. Boom! There we go. And is there light to finish him off? Nice, so we killed the full battalion. That's also very nice. We need to reclaim map control. Uh, luckily, we have the top side still under our control, but he gets actually a lot of from. I mean, the problem is, I think he got more power points out of that fight than I did uh, because he killed the two eagles. He killed multiple Gundam Knights. We didn't kill too much because killing Lutz level 1 is not very rewarding in the power point department. So I think it was, you know, not a good fight after all. Defenders of the white Ready your weapons. Men of Prepare the battle. Keep the up the ready. pressure, boys. Keep up the pressure. Very important. And keep rushing him down every single time. We must act quickly. Oh, 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 oh. Don't cripple me. Oh, he missed. He missed. He missed. I saw that. I saw that. Hey, hey, hey. I saw that. Go for a juicy one, Gandalf. Please? Oh, oh! Oh my goodness, they are hurting my Gandalf a lot. Take this. You don't even die, dude. I mean, when they have heavy, heavy armor plus the war chant buff, they won't die. Look at the pikemen, they are destroying my Gandalf. And Lourdes doesn't die to that. I mean, we give Lourdes a bit more HP in this version so he doesn't get one-shotted by Easter Elites, which is, I think, it's good. But it's annoying. In this, you know, when it's my Lourdes, it's good, but when it's the opponent Lourdes, it's annoying. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I'm in love with this Tower Guard soldier combination. Holy guacamole, guys. I'm in love with them. I mean, they seem to be strong, but keep in mind, please, that we had upgrade advantage on them pretty much all game long. So, upgraded units against unupgraded units, upgraded units are always going to win. There is no doubt about that. And if, you, if he combines the Uruk with his own pikemen, they are the strongest pikemen swordman combination. They could have easily dealt with the Tower Guard soldier combination easily. Hold together, men. Defenders of the White Tree. Men of Gondors. Okay, so. Um, no, he, look, he can even trample them, you know. The Tower Guards are not acting like in the Porcupine formation, so. You can trample them. You don't deal too much damage to them because they are tower guards, but uh, you can still disable them for a few seconds. Because you lose the porcupine effect when you combine them. Okay, so we need a bit more than 5 power points in total for the army of the dead, for the offbreakers. I'm gonna summon the rangers here. And we can maybe... Oh, oh. Can we... Oh, he's running into me, but... Oh my goodness. Gandalf, Gandalf sometimes is so old that he needs like 2 hours to actually cast his... This is a plus, finally, you know what I'm saying? This can be quite tilting. Okay, so, the thing is, I want to actually rush his piece, but every single... Look, look at the minimap. He has every single unit of himself, including Saruman and Lourdes, inside his piece. So, I don't think going for the main castle with the Garden Knights is going to be a great idea. And I'm not a player, I don't enjoy Siege Wars. So I don't want to win with Trebuchet, guys. I'm always trying, with any faction I'm playing, to win the game without the Siege Weapons. Siege Weapons are very busted. They are hitting like an absolute track, but they are also kind of annoying to play against. And also not very satisfying to win with. So I don't want to win with them. I would rather lose than winning with Siege Weapons, guys. I mean, I, some people, they, don't, they need them, kind of, right? And it's okay, I can understand that. Can I catch them, please? Yeah, enough, you old man. Please be faster with your... Oh, dude. Let them have it, man. Quell this evil. Swords. Hold them men of Maintain order. I mean, here's a huge army here, man. Oh, but we are on the Elven Wood. He doesn't realize that we have... Oh, okay, the range are gone now. That's not good. Uh, I think we cannot commit to this army until we have our... Um, the Eagle Summon. That's gonna be very important. With the Eagle Summon, we can definitely do that. So once again, the same scenario. We will be summoning the Eagles on top of Lourdes. Kill Lourdes. When there is no Lourdes, there is no threat. For our Gandalf. And then we can choose, go for a juice if they blast. Inside the army, inside the jeans. Okay, the Eagles are ready now. We need to get in the vision control. We have also now multiple Gundam Knights. Our eco is still looking good. I'm actually planning to, you know, thinking about building the marketplace, but I think it's we are getting, you know, 
already enough money. You don't need that. Okay, it's time, boys. It's time to rock and roll. It's time to do this. Take this. And now the loot is gonna die in a second. He's level one only, right? He has no chance. Oh, but Eagles are also going, going to... Please, please, please. Oh, he's microing. He's pressing X to split. There was a nice split from him, though. Very, very nice split. Take this, Saruman. Oh, my goodness. The Fireball. Demolish my Gandalf. And the both wizards are going down at the same time. Well, I should have healed a bit earlier, I guess. But I didn't expect this burst. Holy Saruman, dude. He's taking his revenge from the films. You know what I'm saying? Maintain order. Knights, attack. Swords. I was expecting, just like in the films, that Gandalf is going to be covered by a shield bubble, which I didn't activate. So I'm going to flame the films, I guess. I could have activated it. <laughs> but I, it was so fast, though, right? Am I right or not, guys? Just like, boom. Like, without any animation, the fireball come out of nowhere. And my Gandalf, when he want to cast the Easter or the lightning sword or Easter light, he has like two hour animation, like, throw, you know, putting the sword in the sky, the lightning bolts appearing, and then it's like three hours to actually get it off. A fireball, holy moly, it's fast. I mean, the problem is now his furnaces are level three. And every single one of them is going to act like a tower. He lost the war rider though. He didn't pay attention. And that's why attempting to rush the beast is also very good. Because then he needs to pay attention to it. And then you can do stuff in the meantime on the other, on the other side of the map. You know, that's very important. Multitasking. And force your opponent to also multitask. If he doesn't do it well, he will lose. Maybe he will defend in one place, but he will lose on the other place. Oh my god. Did you guys see this? Did the pipes come, came out of the lumber mill. What the heck? You have so many Gondor Knights. Uh, yes. Like army at the bottom side. He might go for the siege very soon, but the thing is, we are really close for the EOD. We are really, really close for the EOD. Okay. Alright. Um, I think at this point of the game, what we need to do is just fight for the power points, boys. I mean, we cannot really fight this army without Gandalf. And even with Gandalf, when there is Lords, we cannot approach. And I think at this point, we need to just, like, get the one power point in a quarter to summon the EOD. And kill the EOD, uh, army with the army of the dead. At the bottom left side. Riders! Stamp them out! But does he have lords on the spot though? Does he have lords? I don't see lords here. Okay. I mean, when I don't see lords here, I don't need to be worried, I guess. Because then my Gandalf can come in. It's a level 6 combo though. We gotta be careful about this one. I mean, if, obviously, if you kill Gandalf, you will get a lot of experience. I'm just baiting them to stay. He used war chance. Do it, Gandalf. Boom! Nothing died. Oh! Cripple, he missed again. Dude, we just got barely out of the range. That's good. I mean, it was really close, though. It's, do you see my Gondor Knights? Do you see my Gondor Knights? What is happening with them? What the heck? I mean, beef me one. Like Gandalf would like to say about the Hobbits, you know what I'm saying? In a few weeks, you think you know everything, but even after 20 years, they are surprising you, right? And that's the same thing about beef me one for me. After this many years, I it, I feel like I know everything about this game, but then I see stuff like this one, that, like the Gondor Knight in the, in the Gondor Vault, which I've never seen before, you know? Very interesting. We need only a quarter now for the EOD Special Summon Boys. Damn, he's paying attention. We need to use the Easter Light. I mean, I'm just looking to get power points at this point. Normally, I would not use Easter Light here in this situation because, you know, it's not worth it, but it's worth it when you are this close to the EOD. And with the EOD, we can definitely kill all his army, including his heroes like Lourdes and Saruman. No problemo. And also, EOD and Balrog got nerfed in a patch 2.2. They have now much higher cooldown, so you cannot abuse them every 5 minutes or 6 minutes it was. Now, the cooldown got increased to 8 minutes. Boom! And ladies and gentlemen, we have 10 power points, but in order to summon the EOD, we will also need vision control. Now we can look to go for a beast rush, but again, there's still pikemen inside the castle. Not too many, though. But before doing this, I want to actually take care of his army at the bottom side. 
Attack quickly! Heavy! Go now! Fly! Shadow attack! Rise! Too many pikemen, and every one of them is upgraded. Oh, 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 oh! I see Saruman. Okay, you wanna, you wanna say hello to my little friends, the Ghost Army. I summon you to fulfill your oath. What see you? Look, Lords is sprinting with the Palantir. And by the way, guys, we have now the Palantir. Boom! Gandalf is getting level eight. And now the Palantir is also a visual effect. So basically, you can now tell visually if the if the unit or the hero is affected by the Palantir. And I think that's a good thing. Because earlier you could not tell, you know, visually. And also, I mean, obviously the patch 2.2 has many, many more quality of life changes. For example, the marketplace animation from the, you know, Grand Harvest and also the Iron R. So you see stuff, uh, the cooldowns are displayed. So you know, you know how much it takes to recharge the power point, to recruit the units from a level 1, level 2, level 3 production building. And how long the summons are going to last for, what the cooldowns are. I think that's a great... Um, change and hopefully you guys are also enjoying this i mean making this possible i mean obviously i'm not doing this all alone it would not be possible um but still it's very time consuming and hopefully guys you enjoy it because we are not doing a patch for ourselves you know what i'm saying it's made for the people for the players and luckily for us we get more and more online players every single day and again very very soon we will also hold our own tournament which you can then watch on my Twitch stream, Twitch TV slash Beyond Standards, once I'm fully healed up. I've been now sick for a while, and I don't know. Hopefully I'm not dying or something. If I die, then, yeah, see you in heaven, because I'm a good person, I'm gonna go to heaven, trust me, Kappa Kipo. <laughs> and if I don't die, we will host a tournament very soon for Battle for Middle of One, and I would love to see you guys also in the, in the live stream, you know. It's always nice to get, like, a... No, to get to know you as well. With the Twitch live chats. Okay, so guys, we are shining bright like a diamond in this game, dude. We are so damn strong. And you know how, you see this, how difficult this is actually to win this match against Isengard? Maybe I should have gone for the combos. I mean, to be honest, I could have played this a bit better. Recruit some rangers, you know, make combos with the archers and soldiers, and then make Faramir, Boromir, and even some trebuchet. Because he counters are so hard with this pikeman spam. Oh, 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 Balrog, the demon from the ancient world. There he comes. There he comes. Ready your weapons. Be on your guard, men. We've lost the citadel. Use the tower. I mean, I cannot really fight against them because even if you go and try to fight them with Gandalf, he will just like one time whip you and then you are losing your Gandalf and then you will lose your base on top of that. So I need to let him do that, I guess. And because my AOD is on cooldown. So basically you can use AOD to kill Balrog if you want to. But we don't need to do that. We have two outputs. So we won't be defeated even if he somehow manages to destroy the entire castle, which I doubt he will because the Balrog is a bit nerfed now. So, you won't be able to one-shot the production buildings anymore. I hope that it's not going to be able... To... Oh my goodness, he's doing it. This guy is playing out of his mind now with Balrog. What? And look at him, he want to destroy my outpost at the same time. This guy is actually crazy. He want to defeat me. Hold on a second, I got to focus, guys. Give me please a minute. I don't want to mess this up, though. I don't want to lose a winning game, you know? Give me a second. Rally together, We have lost our territory. Ain't I lost the money? Did you guys see this? I just lost 1,000 too. How? 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 Oh my goodness, man. I cannot even... He destroyed my full castle, dude. Are you kidding me? Now I gotta invest 5,000 to rebuy it. I gotta keep those Condonites on the spot just to make sure that he's not buying it because him buying the castle would actually make us lose the game. I cannot do anything against double castle. Which you can just protect with like a couple of pikemen. And for that reason, we should be making sure that he doesn't capture this. And hopefully with the map control we have, we will be, you know, soon able to rebuy the castle. <laughs> Dude, this game is actually so difficult now. What the heck? What the heck, boss? I know what you're thinking, yeah, but Shanks, you're running around with your Gundam Knights all the time. Yeah, but what can I do? I cannot commit. He just killed my archery range at the bottom side. I have no archers, no rangers. Um, and what am I supposed to go in with, you know? I need to wait for the for the eagles once again to kill the lords or for the EOD to finish off the game. 
But I need to wait for him to move out. I mean, I cannot commit to his base until he's... I mean, he's coming from the bottom side. When I see this, then I can do stuff. So then I, then I know the loot is not in the base. Then I can go with the Gandalf Visa Plus, the pikeman inside the castle. Then I can do stuff. But as long as he's inside the castle with everything that he got, I cannot do much. Okay, oh my. Okay, rest in peace, Gondonite, I guess. <laughs> Oh, I'm losing Golden Knights like left and right. I don't know what to say. I don't know. I'm speechless. I'm losing them left and right. Ganaf is almost level 9. He's bottom left side. I mean, I cannot defend the outpost. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to actually deal a lot of damage to his piece. I, I cannot do anything about the situation. I gotta let it go. I mean, he doesn't maybe know that we actually recaptured the castle already. He doesn't maybe know that. Okay. Um... I'm gonna easter light the fortress and with the help of the units we can eventually destroy it he's, oh, he's, you see this this guy's so smart he's focusing with every single tower my gandalf exclusively so smart this guy i mean he's selecting them individually one by one and then just focusing down my gandalf it's actually so fun and also frustrating to play against somebody like that you know but it's it's more fun for me to be honest I mean, he has freezing rain, but it's okay. I mean, Gondor doesn't rely too much on the on the leadership bonuses. We lost the outpost at the bottom side, but it's also okay. We can save this level 3 power guard soldier combination. And fill up the beast with blacksmiths, I guess. You know, why not? Okay, our eco should be looking good very soon again. And we have used the EOD way before he used the Balrog. So our EOD is going to be up way sooner army of the dead and balrog have the same cooldowns they have eight minute cooldown each and this way you can keep in keep in mind you know I, I like this this way more though because six minutes felt a bit too op you know like every six minutes the player had like the chance to actually win the game and eight minutes is a bit more time to recover after the first summon so if somebody uses eod on you then you have eight minutes time to reorganize your army to push him back or to win the game but six minutes was kind of too short in my opinion and this feels much more balanced and also much more fun i genuinely think that the, you know the ultimate summons like balrog and eod are just too super busted and i don't like the idea of losing the entire game to one single summon only like imagine if he would have only now one gone one castle and we are winning the game but then he summons the balrog and destroys the entire castle and we lose the game of that this is frustrating not fun so i want the balrog and eod to be strong but i don't want to i don't want them to win the game only you know what i'm solo so eod is already nerfed big time eod doesn't deal too much damage anymore to the building so basically eod was already destroying the castle too almost by himself now the eod damage against buildings is nerfed in the patch 2.22 and also we need to make sure that the balrog isn't able to fully finish the castle like he can still deal a lot of damage but he shouldn't be able to solo kill a Gondor or a Rohan castle by himself. This is just too busted. Because when you play a free-for-all map, for example, like, you know, think about Mirkwood. There is no outpost control. And if the evil factions, hold on, if the evil factions get to summon the, evil, uh, the Balrog on you, and you play Gondor or Rohan, they will finish you off with the one single summon. I mean, this is this is GG now. He was trying to destroy the outpost. He just summoned. Oh my goodness, there are some pikemen. Level nine Gandalf boys. I mean, I get it. You know, I don't wanna, <clears throat> I don't wanna say that the summon should be weak, but I think they shouldn't be able to single-handedly win the game. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you agree with me? But I say the ultimate summons like Balrog and EOD, they need a bit more nerf. Or do you say, no, Shanks, they are supposed to be that strong. It's okay when Balrog is able to finish me off. I have so much fun when I lose my game, but I play for 30 minutes to a one single Balrog summon. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm curious. Just because, again, this is not a patch we are making for ourselves. You know, this is a patch we are making for the community, for the BFME1 online players. And hopefully, I will also see you guys join the league. 
in joining the multiplayer scene. It's quite fun, we can, you know, you don't have to play only once if you don't like this pressure on you, which I can totally understand. But you can also play 2v2s, 3v3s, 3v4s, 4v4s, custom maps with your friends, and just like play casually online. I think what the BFME community needs the most are online active players, and I would love to have more of you guys joining the multiplayer scene. And for that reason, if you are interested, make sure to tune into the Discord in the comment section down below. GG well played, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was a fun game, though. Back and forth, back and forth all the time. I mean, he was defending very nicely. It was frustrating. I almost thought I lost this one. But it was, you know, against the power of Condor. There can be no victory, guys. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. And also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Peace out.